Hello! In this video, I am going to show you all of the new updates happening in Microsoft OneDrive for the web. We've all experienced the frustration of not remembering where a file is and then having to search through emails, chat conversations, our OneDrive, Teams, and even our File Explorer. So to minimize this frustration and save you time, Microsoft has announced its new OneDrive for the web experience that will effortlessly allow you to locate files based on the people you work with and the meetings that you have. It also has an advanced search feature. Let's get into it. First, open your Microsoft Edge browser. In the search box, type www.portal.office.com and sign in using your BOCES credentials. That will bring you to the home page of all of your Microsoft 365 applications. On the left hand side, you're going to click the waffle and then click OneDrive. Now you'll be brought to your new OneDrive experience. Let's take a little tour and I'll show you all the new features that are being released and how they can help you in your daily workflow. At the top, you will see a new For You area that uses AI powered file recommendations to surface files that are personalized to you and bring you the most relevant time sensitive content to the top of your OneDrive. On the left hand side, if you click My Files, that will be all of your OneDrive files. You also have the option to click the Shared button. In the Shared button, you will see all of your shared files. Regardless of where a file was shared, who shared it, or whether it was internally or externally shared, you will see all of those files in this one simple view. You can drill down and filter by shared with you, shared by you, or you can drill down by the file type. You can also come over to the search bar and filter by a name or a person. If you star a file or folder in any of the Microsoft 365 applications, they will all show up in your Microsoft OneDrive favorites section. Here you'll be able to access all of your favorites from across all Microsoft 365 applications. On the left hand side, you also have the option to browse files by people. This is an extremely useful feature. Here you will see a list of all of the people that you interact or collaborate with on files. And those files can be in any location across all Microsoft 365 applications. They will appear in a list. And if you pin that person, that person will always stay at the top of the people section, as well as all the files that you interact or collaborate with together. You can also use the filter by person search bar on the top right hand side. You also have the option to browse files by meetings. The meetings view in Microsoft OneDrive on the web surfaces all of your files shared during your meetings and your meeting chats, including notes and Microsoft loops. You can even see files that will be used in your upcoming meetings. If you don't see a meeting here, you can always click on filter by meeting name and search for that specific meeting. You can always use the search bar at the top of Microsoft OneDrive to search all of your files. One of my most favorite new features in Microsoft OneDrive for the web is the ability to add a folder color. So if you click add new on the left hand side and then click folder, you now have the ability to add a folder color. Now, if I go to my files, I can see the difference between the default folder color and the new folder I just created. This allows you to personalize and customize your OneDrive. Again, your OneDrive homepage on the web spans file experiences across all of your Microsoft 365 applications. So this could be your one-stop shop to find files that you are currently working on or collaborating on. Just a quick note, this update is an ongoing rollout, which is expected to be completed by early October. So if you do go into your OneDrive on the web and don't see these new fantastic updates, don't worry, it's coming soon, so keep on checking. Now you know about all of the great new features in OneDrive on the web. Stay tuned for next week's What the Tech Tip. I'll see you then.